good morning. It's Chris with BilletBox.info. And I got woke up this morning, about an hour, hour and a half ago, by the doorbell. And my ring doorbell rings Jingle Bells, so Jingle Bells woke me this morning. Uh, it's a good wake up, though, because it was DHL. And they brought me some goodies. I have here the couple armor bunkers, which are basically um, boro, you know, replacement boros for your boro devices, and the AMBB, which is a RBA. In addition, there was also um, I also purchased a um, integrated drip tip, and uh, I quite like this one. But we're here to talk about other things. Um, I've already opened one of the one of the tanks. Let's just go ahead and go right into it. Anyway, so yeah, the we're going to show you the Boro first. Let me go down here and show you that. Uh, this is just just a Boro. Um, this was a clear frosted PGC. It's got tempered glass here, and uh, you can slide the glass down just like you you know press down and push. But um, apparently they decided, you know, instead of pushing it down, I've never broke a glass personally, uh, but they put a little notch at the top here. And in that notch, while it's in your box, you can use your thumbnail and push it down instead of putting pressure on the glass. That's pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, and good fit in a, this is, yeah, anodized or um, Cerakote billet box. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if this is my 2016 or my 2021. Uh, but while it's in there, you can just stick your thumb there and push it down like that instead of pushing down. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to end up still doing that because, well, I'm so used to it. But yeah, that's kind of nifty. Maybe I'll get used to that. So, um, comes right out too, as you saw. The um, Pretty much looks like a standard billet box borrow. Um, you've got your front airflow for whatever devices use those, and then you've got some side airflow on either side for, you know, a bow rat or a stash box or billet box, for instance, with the side airflow there. And it looks like it probably just lines straight up with it. You can't really see that with clear. Um, and in the box, let's just show you the black one here, which is the one we're going to use when we build this AMBB. see maybe it'd be easier if we just do it like that what do we get got a nice little armor mods box a little plastic box in here or yeah and okay there you are there is a <clears throat> black boro uh they call it the bunk a bunker same deal with the there we are so we'll set that aside and there's some spares in here. We've got some top and bottom O-rings and the front uh, seal, gasket seal. So that's it. Let's put that aside. And we're going to use that one, so we're going to keep that here. And let's take a look at the Armor Mods, Armor AMBB, Armor Mods Boro Bridge. So um, this is going to be... Uh, depending on where you are, uh, 140 euros, uh, vapes by Nushi, Vaping Art, Straight Fire, import, uh, Vaporium, Vape Store, and Vape Store France, and Steam Island, and a few other places will have them. I believe they're about a buck fifty nine in the U.S. Uh, at Vaping Art. So let's take a look. They're going to come in a few different colors uh, right away. There's our, there's our gold, there's a black, and then there's this stainless steel here. Same kind of, looks like the same box, just a different thing there. So in the box, we've got the RBA itself. This is your, looks like your uh, build adapter. Go ahead and pull that out. We're going to use that, obviously. Uh, what else do we have here? We got, oh yeah, this, I saw this. <clears throat> this is a little key thing, just a little, 
for you know if you uh using on your nut if you're using not using integrated drip tip you can unscrew that but we'll throw that back in there it's kind of a nice touch uh airflow pins we have uh i can't see good 1.5 2.5 2.5 3.0 and then there's a should be a four installed pre-installed in there uh, what else do we have here we got something in this uh, la, la. okay just a few extra screws oh yeah those are the set screws let's put those back in there before we lose them and let's get this bad boy out oh it just sits right on there that's not a uh, press fitted uh, nothing underneath so back together throw this back on here and let's take a look at it all right, go together. There we go. Oh, I got so much stuff on my desk. All right. This is how it goes together. And there we are. And like I said at the bottom, that is a 4.0. And uh, this all just pushes together. There's a the top chimney which is uh the bore is about four four millimeter it looks like maybe a little bigger and that just comes out there's a little o-ring at the bottom there to keep a seal around the edge there uh this piece comes off you got armor lot armor mods logo on the front and back and here's your deck and to change the airflow pins it just screws out and when it screws out, um, the uh, positive post is loose. So you want to, you don't want to. If you do it while you're, while it has a build in there, you have to be really careful, or you'll jack your coil up. So um, <clears throat> if you look down into the the bottom there, let me get something to point with. There's two little. It's like about maybe a millimeter um airflow or uh, wicking ports on either side and if you look in there there's it's a pretty deep well it looks like we're just going to take our cotton stick it down in there and put it right up against the bottom there and the post design is i'm having some focus issues today the post design is pretty interesting instead of screws on the top of the posts they come in from the side but something that's really cool is where you uh where your leads are going to come through there it's it looks like you might be able to get your scissors or your uh your clip your snips in there really good so actually i like that i like that looks like it'll take easily a three maybe a 3.5 millimeter cool i'm gonna go with a uh, 2.5 millimeter cool on this build um yeah and looks like it's plenty thick for thick wire and we're just going to go right to it all right so let's get our build adapter here this uh there's threading on the outside of that that threads into the bottom of here and let's see it's quite a bit let's let me just show you it's um very similar maybe a little smaller than the um it's about the same size as the atom in the boro maybe a little smaller a little smaller speaking of the get a little quick a little hit there all right um and it's uh smaller obviously than the uh the bridged as far as the it's about the same you know there but um uh, width wise it's a little smaller so anyway let's go right into it all right where is my builder there it is i already put the build adapter on there we'll just screw that down on here i need to get a new builder this builder has not been very good at, at reading i've taken a few uh that i've read you know like 0.4 on here you know on this but when I put it on uh, in the billet, it changes. So I put it on one of my mods. 
and the same build on the mod and it was like 0.5 difference this thing this thing's failing on here just sucks to start with so anyway we're going to go with a uh, star builds uh stage clapton uh this should come out to about 0.45 or so 2.5 millimeter uh, inner diameter and this is my last one all right let's see here i might not even need the coal rod here which i don't know where it's at where's that coal rod there it is um oh you know what those screws are are in or put or let me back them out so i can get this in here all right back it out there back it out here I like this post design. This looks really easy. It just sits well, depends on oop, did I not back it out far enough? It's not going down. Okay, I didn't get this side all the way out. I'm sorry bragging about the post design, how easy it's gonna be to put a, a build in here, but I'm not doing it right. All right, go down. Again, I'll say it. I'll say it just like every other time. If it can happen, it's going to happen to me on stream. <laughs> Let's. Why is that? Oh, dang! There's a lot of. There we are. This side. Uh, okay, let me come out a little bit more. I don't want to come out so far that I actually pull the. The actual um, screws out. This build is a little wider too. That may be part of my problem. There we go. I got it to go down. All right, now that's in there. Let me go ahead and just uh, get some tight on there. Keep it from going anywhere, and then I'm gonna adjust the cool. Not all the way, but just enough to hold it in place. Alright, that'll work. Let's center this up. Bring it up a little bit. I think that's going to do it. Alright, so I'm going to screw these. Uh, that's where I want it right there. A little bit above the posts. Go ahead and torque these down not so much that I break anything this uh, side screw thing is a little interesting I like it though there we are I still uh, by the way I don't know if I have it handy I do not so I'm not gonna bother trying um, the company that makes this armor mods uh, partnered with Hussar uh, several years ago to make a. Let me see if I can do that. This is handy. No, I don't. Um, don't I have it handy? Uh, to make a. Um, the Hussar made the Project X RTA and uh, they partnered with Oriental Vape and made a. A special edition called the Project X The End, and I still have mine and I love it. I don't use them much anymore because, well, Boro, but ooh, that one went flying. So there we are. Before we go to start doing. Oh, wow. Something's not working, it's not reading it. All right, something is amiss. I know it's not the cool. It could be this reader is jacked up. Okay, there we go. All right, it's working now. I guess I just didn't have it tight enough. So that's where we are right there. Okay, before we get going, um, I might have something 
touching somewhere. No? I'd just be reading that way. Uh, let me put this down on here and make sure that I don't have any shorts. And it's all together and no. I don't, I hope it doesn't read one, uh, 0.17 when I'm all said and done here. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing going. There we are, starting to glow good now. Almost there. I've considered just skipping this whole step when I'm when I'm doing one of these and just come right into it when it's done. But um I think it's more authentic to kind of just show all the trials and tribulations associated with the whole process you know and uh you know i'm no professional all right it's reading a point three two now okay i jacked it up there when i was messing around with it i just wanted to reposition it a little bit more all right there we go i'm happy with that i like the position like the way it's going all right so there we are. So we're going to grab some cotton and uh, slap it through. Um, I don't know how much cotton I want to put in there. I don't want to stuff it too much, but I don't want it to leak out. So let's uh, get this on the fly. I like to wet that a little bit. Go in there. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead and guesstimate about right there. That might be a little too much. Let me take a little bit off on each side. Let's go with about right there. Oh, I missed. All right, that's it. So the air, the uh, wicking holes are at the bottom there. So I'm just going to take and flip this down. Just push it down. That's it. Make sure it's all in. Do the same thing over here. Just flip it down. I didn't fluff it or anything. I don't, just make sure that it's reaching the bottom is all. I want to make sure so it can pull that juice up from the airflow. So uh, let's put some juice on there and get some hit, some fires. What do we end up reading here? 0. 0.42. Hey, that thing was all over the place. This reader, I really need to invest in a good uh, build builder point four. Oh yeah that's uh that's looking good yeah yeah I like it I like it all right so let me make sure that everything is pushed down do some stray fibers there somebody's at my front door again might be my son leaving. All right, and then we're going to get this off of here. And I'm going to look at the bottom here. And uh, looks like we do have the uh, cotton close enough at the bottom there. So let's put this in a borrow. Uh, you saw me take this out of here. So I'm going to take the glass all the way off. You always want to do this with a newer with a new boro so you don't mess up your gaskets just put a little there a little bit here a little bit at the bottom just take my finger and kind of mush it around and that's it uh oh 
one hole. There we go. All right. Um, just like with a lot of these style, I'm going to take, put my chimney in there. I'm going to line it up. Just push it up in there. Then take the bottom part. Put that down. And by the way, uh, uh, I didn't show you that earlier, but the serial number says, what does that say? I can't even read that. Armor mods and the serial number are right there. And then this just slides over. Put that down in the boro. And push through there. And press fit down there. That should be it. Does that move around any? Nope. And that is it. We're going to, uh, well, first I'm going to take, get some of this juice off my fingers. Slide this glass back on here. I'm trying to put the glass on there and the, the, the edges or the, um, the ridges that the glass slides in starts way down here instead of like right above my fingernail on a standard borrow. So I was having a little problem trying to start it out. So there we are. Let's juice it up. <clears throat> yeah, I was really excited to get an opportunity to check this one out. I was really, uh, this one, and I mean, there's a few, I, 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 I would like to check them all out, uh, but there's a few of them that I'm really excited about, and this is one of them. Let's put this cool rod back where it goes before I lose it. So we're going to just slide that in there. And find me a drip tip. Uh, don't know where all my drip tips are. I'll just go with this one for now. I don't know. Which one is this? Oh, that's the, uh, that's one from, uh, Protocol. All right. Let's see what we're reading on here. 0.45. Let's see what, let me go up to about, uh, 34 watts. Oops, wrong way. Oh yeah, it's crackling. And let's bring it up top and get my first uh, hit on this thing. <clears throat> Here we go. Nice, nice. That's good. Okay. That was... <coughs> Excuse me, dry hit. That was good. I didn't put enough cotton in there. I, could, I had a feeling, but I don't believe my cotton went far. In, I didn't put enough cotton far enough down to the bottom of the, um, of the deck. So I'm having a little wicking issue here. So uh, what's, I mean, there's no, no reason not to go ahead and just remedy that right now. But yeah, the first three hits were really good. And then that last one, I could tell a little dryness. So uh, we'll uh, waste some juice here. And uh, get this thing out of here and re-wick it. Get another piece of paper towel here. Get that out. Yeah, that was uh that was embarrassing, but hey, it happens. I mean you can't one shot everything. I have had some good luck one shotting builds lately though. All right, let's go ahead and take that back out of there. Yeah, I mean, it should have worked. It was down there. I don't know why I did that. 
Bring this juice up here. All right, let's try it again. Sorry about the length of this video. This is going to be a, a longer one because we're uh, going back and fixing a mistake. All right. I don't have the cotton already ready to go, so I'm just going to roll it up and get it ready. All right, I think we got it. <clears throat> we're gonna go with a little go back and forth and make sure that isn't binding up too bad all right there we go i don't know if i had too much or too little let's go a little longer this time i don't know if that's the same or that's uh that should be fine Let's see. I don't know. Maybe I had too much. Let me fluff it a little bit more. Get some of uh, the thickness out of it. Typically, I don't do this on many of the bridges that I use. RBAs, that is. So, let's flip that back down there again. The only other idea that I have that maybe I had it long enough, but maybe I had it too stuffed and it wasn't enough airflow or, you know, movement room in there for it to, to pull. I don't know, but we're going to try it again. I hate it that we didn't one shot this one. Oh yeah, I got way too much juice in there this time. But yeah, like I said, um, this uh, this version is made of uh, 316 stainless steel. There's a gold version and a black version. I don't know the methods of. Uh, I don't know if it's how you know what method they have of you know putting those coats on there. But they both they all three look really good. The gold is nice and shiny, and the black is kind of like a matte black. They look really cool. I'm starting to think maybe I had too much cotton in there, and maybe I do again now. We'll see. We'll give it another shot. Doesn't take but a minute. All right, we're good. Get that off. Get that aside. Get my... Ow, that was hot. Hmm. <laughs> I had my finger right on the top there where it was hot. Put that back through. Clean the fingers again. Slide the glass. Juice it back up again. And hope to hell that I don't mess up again. Or that I didn't. You know what I'm saying. Clean that up. Turn that drip tip around where it's comfortable. And let's go back up. <clears throat> Oops. Never came back down. <laughs> That first hit is really good. I see a bubble. So there's a, there's some wicking going on. That's good. There's a bubble again. Bubbles. That's much better. 
Yeah, it's wicking good now. It's reading a point four five, hitting it about four volts. Wicking again. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I'll tell you, though, it's really interesting. It's very, very close in style and looks as the Atom. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's wicking fine. Uh, it was easy to build. Um, hey, make sure you back those um, those uh, screws out all the way so you can fit your build in there. As you saw, I was having a problem getting that in there. Um, one thing about that, screw, uh, that post design, you can't get a real wide build in there. I mean, four or five wraps on a on an alien or a sta uh, sta uh, sta uh, stage Clapton's. Um, any more than that, you might not be able to fit it in there as far as where the, the post, you know, the offset of the posts. That's good flavor, though. Very good flavor. And it's wicking just fine now. Well done. Well done. The price is, like I said, 140 euros. Um, the stainless, it's stainless steel, um, 316 stainless steel. Peak insulators, you know, pretty much always 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, 3 3.5, and 4 millimeter, which is what I have in there, uh, and it comes that way. Uh, I think they said it'll go up to 3.5. I put a 2.5 in there. Uh, we'll try. I'll try a three next time. Um, you saw what came in the package, you know, the RBA adapter, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Um, you can get them from a lot of retailers um there's obviously a lot of them out there already because um i think uh where's the box at this serial number that i got is a thousand seventy three so he made quite a few of these or they made quite a few of these armor so um yeah well done sorry for the long video it's um it's what we did you know i mean at least I didn't mess up too bad. <laughs> I mean, we put it back together pretty quick. So, um, don't know what else to say about it. Uh, like I said, it was easy to build. Uh, time will tell, you know, how it holds up. The Boro is really neat. And like I said, that little thumb thing is kind of ingenious. And I didn't really, actually, is there any way I could check that? Those holes on the side of the boro look like they line up perfectly with the holes on the billet box. So I don't know for sure. I could take a, take a rod or something and stick through there and check that. But um, yeah, I got a little, little drops of juice there on my, oh, that was wet. <laughs> Boro game is so messy. Y'all know that. That's one thing. But, you know, it's no messier than, or it's actually cleaner than the squonking. I, I love squonking, but it gets juicy. That's it. Um, I've got a few other products on the way. Um, I've got the VWM Dope, which is... Uh, an RBA made by the uh, the makers of the Imperia and the Integra, um, really good RTAs, and I am really looking forward to that. I've got the Vessel, which comes with the Pulse AIO uh, coming soon. Um, some panels from a uh, from Moon Customs. Uh, I I should have my drip tips from Mission tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'll do a video of those. Um, never done a video about just drip tips, but this has got a little interactive. I didn't get, I didn't get a lot of fancy colors. I got some neutral. I, I don't, I don't do a lot of, I mean, this is probably the fanciest color drip tip I've got. And, you know, it matches the, uh, the panels here from, uh, 
BT Customs. Yeah, I don't get real fancy with my drip tips. I like clear black and white, really, so. Yeah, I've got the same flavor in the um, in this uh, AMBB as that I have in here. And to be honest, the comparison between the two flavor tastes just, I mean, I've got the same cool in both of these, same juice. And the flavor is just about the same on both of them. And they crackle. So anyway, um, this was the AMBB from Armor Mods, and it's well done. Chris Lechness, Billet Box Info. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.